Hello and welcome to my channel. Here we will uh, we'll see a tensile stereo preamplifier TP2500. Like you see on the, the other video, it's the uh, same model but different unit. It's visible here on the front. It's not so complicated. This uh, entire unit is turning around to two integrated circuits, two ICs. One is here, which is designated for uh, MM preamplifier. And here is a second unit, which is in which he is in charge, charge for entire preamplifier and tone correction. So we'll start here from the end. You will see what I did. I did a full restoration for this one. Restoration which is including the cleaning of front plate of all frames, metal frames, the tightening all the screws, all connectors on the back, they were cleaned. Push buttons and potentiometers, they were washed and cleaned. And we'll start from end part here, which is MCM for this one. I replaced only these two capacitors on the sides and for this I used Vima. It's visible also here if you see on top it's written Vima. And uh, for um, Vima with film and for this one for power supply I used the series KA audio grade or KT from Nichicon. On the other uh, preamplifier on MM Amp. I use also Vima and uh, Nichicon KA version. Here these two capacitors also KA or KT. I think they are KA if it's focus this camera. Yes, KA. It's good. For power supply, I used this uh, also Nichicon. This is Muse. Muse's, Muse's, um, Muse model and I will show you one moment how they looks. So I will start with Vima. So the Vima they looks like that. The value is not the same. The value is 4.7 installed here. But this is how it looks. It's a film capacitor. It's made in Germany. They have the factory there. It's German brand and it looks like that it's a really nice brand for K and KT like I said I'm using Nichicon 105 degrees and they looks like that they are blue you see it's written also here the value the voltage and the capacitance audio grade K A and KT this is on this, this side. Here for the power supply, I told you I'm using Nichicon Muse. It looks like that. All the parts which I'm using, I'm buying from uh, US, from Mauser and DigiKey. Depends of, depend of stocks, what they have on that moment. And time to time I'm using uh, Timi from Poland. Okay, so this is the the back side, the back section. Here on the front section we have all the switches, power, mode, subsonic, high filters, bass, treble, balance, tape selector, function selector, muting, loudness and the volume. And it looks like that. Here are the first three switches. These are original capacitors. I didn't touch them. After that, you'll see again two electrolytic capacitors, which they which they been replaced with this Vima capacitors, also filled. Here are the blue section from Nichicon KA KT. Here is the IC, and I will show you immediately what IC I used. And that's all about capacitors. About the ICs, I was using from. 
Let's see if it's visible. Let's take a flashlight to be much, much better. And you see, it's RC4558. It's one of the best I see for this purpose, which is here. The you can use also JRC or different manufacturer. This which I use here, they bought they I bought them like I said from US. Also second one here, it looks like it's good substitute for this uh, for this unit and for the old uh, old IC which it was on position on some of the unit on, on the other unit they used this 4560 and if you are looking here you can see the the THD the noise was 0 0.05 and uh, I choose between these two, 204 and 5 and 4558. I chose 4558 and the THD for this one is 0 0.008. This is the list with parts what I'm what I what I what I was using. And here is for amplifier, but it's not discussion of this video, it's not on this discussion for this video. And this is how it looks. Like I said, full cleaning, for restoration, is no any adjustment to be done. Everything is self-adjustment, adjusted. Okay, I will show you how it looks under. I resolder all the joints, all the cold joints. I clean the board with isopropylic alcohol. And after that, I use a contact cleaner for deep cleaning. It looks like that, also on the front. It looks in this way. You saw the front, the switches, everything is going smoothly. Okay. I will put the covers and I will come back with uh, with, uh, with record. Okay, covers on position. Here are the old parts. These are originals, which I took out. This is how it looks with the covers, top cover on position. It looks like that. It's very nice. Small unit, very nice. I'm curious how it how it will sound after this restoration. And here is the back side. You see input MC MM for phono. Auxiliary input, tuner input, tape two, rack and playback, tape one. The DIN input and output, recording and playback and output, serial number, model, Tensa International, made in Japan, power 220-240, source 50 Hz, 5 watts, and the model TP2500. Nice unit and I will show you how it looks also on the, on the bottom. It looks like that. nice nice unit to be on collection on the audio rack if you like this kind of videos please thumb up subscribe leave comments share with others if you want to see my bench how i how i keep keeping stored the parts what tools i'm using what uh, multimeters I'm using, what instruments I'm using, you can leave in comments 
and I will try all my best to, to come back with the answers for this. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy the videos. And like you know already, every second day new, new video it's released. Thank you. Good luck.